what about the good men? Pascal or Claudandus or Felidae or whatever you want to call no, yourself. No, no, there aren't any good men. They're all bad. They're all the same. Yo! I didn't know you felt that way, like, on God? Felidae is ironically one of the funniest animated movies I've seen in a bit. This movie is so campy, so stupid, but yet also is like, it, it's trying to make sense of itself, but like, the, the stupidity of it, like the ironicness of it, I, I, I know it's so funny. Whoever who wrote this script, absolute applause, because it, it's so unseriously serious. <laughs> and there in the backyard was my housewarming present. <sighs> There he lay, a black brother. Hey, chill, just chill. They're talking about murder. Murder? Oh, I'm sure you're wrong. I think it's more likely that it's sex that's just gone too far. <laughs> Is this fair? <laughs> fair one? Hell no. Yeah, yeah. So, let's go. See ya. We're back to square one again. Not quite. It's just gotten extra complicated, like Egyptian hieroglyphics. It is extremely clear that this movie was 100% rushed. There's like, there's no doubt about it. Like, especially towards the end, they start using a lot of jump cuts, a lot of fade to blacks, and like, you, you can just tell it wasn't really completed or like fully thought out. They were just, it, it feels like, this is gonna sound so toxic, but it feels like a warrior fan fiction. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. It feels like some fan just love Warrior Cats so much. They're just like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to make this animation. I'm going to make it so serious. Like, there's a lot of gore in the fucking movie for no reason. It doesn't really add anything to the movie. And there's also just sex for whatever reason. <laughs> but, but yeah, um, uh, before I actually uh, go deeper into, like, the story and what Fella Day's about, I want to talk about the animation. The animation is actually somewhat of a positive there's a lot of problems with the lip syncing the lip syncing isn't necessarily too good it's like flawed a lot i don't know if this was in a different language this was actually a german film so any and all critiques i have about the voice acting or the script it's reflecting the english dub just letting y'all know or if the, it was english and they just didn't care to lip sync but it's it's not really there also a lot of the proportions of the cat characters are very odd it's it's a weird choice like there's there's either like a bodybuilder type cat or like a very thin cat and it's I don't know, the two are just so weird. I can, however, appreciate some of the perspective shots we get. Like, we get a lot of chase scenes in this movie or just scenes, like, that has a lot of motion and a lot of, like, camera shifts. And I really do love that. I think that's absolutely beautiful, especially for this time period. Not to say every single shot is absolutely perfect or good in any sense. Like, there are some shots that are, like, wild and, and it feels like they're just, like they're just trying things out they're not necessarily they don't have a focus they're just like throwing things in it's almost like a practice run although that's a problem i do however really like and appreciate the drop in frame rate on some scenes to make it more chaotic more hellish and like using more dark colors and very like sketchy lines i think that's absolutely beautiful it was like extremely dark and demonic i fuck with it but and i know there's almost always a but the gore as i said before it's just it's too much it doesn't really add anything narratively to the story it's like why is it even there it's it's just there same with like uh the sex scenes why are they there it uh, it, do it doesn't really need to be that intimate or that serious now moving on to the score the score is something special i I don't like the score. Not to say the instrumentation devolves the story or the progress of the movie in any sense. No, it's just that like the horns are so annoying. There's a lot of chase scenes, as I said before, and they throw a lot of horns in it. And it's just it's super obnoxious, maybe because it's mixed horribly. But like uh, the production on it is just not good. <laughs>
if I remember correctly, there is a small subset of strings in this movie, but even then, it doesn't really glisten. It just, it's kind of generic. It's nothing that I really care about. It's... It's, it's it's forgettable. Now, there are two songs in this movie that I recall anyway. The beginning song that's probably called Fella Day or something like that. Woo. Yeah, the intro song called Fella Day that has like a lot of electronic elements to it. It's like, it's not a great start because the kicks, the drums, like they are way too punchy and pugnant and like, it, it just, it, it doesn't feel right for this type of movie, I'm gonna be honest. The second song in this movie plays at the very end and is just the funniest thing ever, like, both with the context given and just the, the style it's in. It's like a Midwestern emo, and it's like, it's it feels like almost like a Nickelback song, but like... Like, a fan made it. It's like, strip back, if you, <laughs> if you get that joke. <laughs> So, my friends, we sit on the edge of our seats while murderers commit their atrocities and then are beaten. There is no way you're monologuing over this fucking guitar right now. The story of this whole movie is very strange. I don't really know how to classify it. Like, it's like a murder mystery, but with cats and also it's just, um, it's like rooted with sex. I... I, I guess and they are not shy in the slightest about showing or talking about the sex in any sort of sense It's either like shown a as art on the wall or like Just them doing it themselves. It's it's very It's awkward our main character Francis is apparently I guess a detective and like I find it so interesting because no one really questions why he's here. That he just sort of shows up, and then everyone's just, for the most part, kind of chill with him. Ha <laughs> Bluebeard, you ugly old furball. I see you've been cruising the gay scene for a change. That cute little thing behind you sure is a juicy number. Fella Day? More like that feller gay. Just in case I already didn't say this, there's a lot of tonal issues in this movie and it's like it makes it extremely funny there's a lot of random stuff that happens in this movie like there's apparently a cult like a suicide cult in the middle of his like uh house that he moves to and apparently that never gets touched on like he gets chased out and then like i don't know maybe a scene later everyone's chill with him it it doesn't really make sense there is a random blind character which you know w representation but like she's in there for like two minutes at the very most and then she dies like randomly like it, it, it's like it's it's so it's it's so weird not only does she die she dies in the most brutal way possible like she gets her she gets her head cut off and like there's blood everywhere it's like a very drastic sight i'm not gonna lie and then like i don't know he, he shakes it off after like two scenes like there's a scene to where he's like i guess somewhat mourning and he's like oh i'm gonna get you <laughs> but then it just doesn't matter like a lot of these serious scenes are so unserious and they just don't matter like why is it there also a section about animal testing which i thought was very gruesome and very like super deep and real and like it doesn't necessarily go anywhere but like at least it's better than plague dogs in my opinion anyway to sort of wrap this up it feels like it has no strong direction it's being pulled in multiple ways and like it was super rushed because like the voice acting isn't necessarily bad it's not necessarily bad at least majority of it there is some characters who i'm just like okay that's that's not good in any sense but like the voice actors aren't bad it's the voice direction the voice direction i don't i don't know what they were going for the script is insane it's insane. Yeah, giving a little time to dissect and like really try and understand how I feel about this movie. I think this movie is personally kind of a three, like a strong three. I don't really do like strong threes or like decimals or anything like that, but like it's kind of a, 
enjoyable experience. I can't say I was never entertained. It was like, there was a lot of situations to where I was just laughing nonstop in the ironic sense, but like, I don't know. It's just, it's super campy, super fun. Like there's a lot of good visuals. Some of the time I can't lie, but like, I don't know. I'm feeling kind of a three. Like it's not the worst thing in the world. Obviously could have been better in a lot of areas, but for the most part, yeah, I, I think it's a, it's a fun time if you treat it very ironically and you kind of ignore the gore in the story. Then I think it's like a super fun time. And it's only like an hour and 15 minutes. Unlike Balto 2, it's actually enjoyable. I was actually like not wanting to die after watching it. But uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. Anyway, how's it going, pups? It's a canine and I'm out. I think it's more likely that it's sex that's just gone too far. Hey, murdering that cat if you know what I... <laughs>